give it a shot. What do you got to lose? I'm with you. You'll have a happy ending. Wait. I know you're going to dig this. No, I'm not doing Children of the Corn. No, I'm doing Avril Lavigne. I'm doing Avril Lavigne's hometown. Here in Napanee, Ontario. Beautiful Napanee, Ontario. It really is. Small town, about two hours, roughly, east of Toronto. Not a big town, not a small town. It's a medium town. Avril Lavigne's childhood home is right here. Like, it looks like I'm in a rural area, but it's not. It's actually all houses all around me here. A giant cornfield and I thought oh that's nice I'm gonna show you Avril's I'm gonna show you where Avril got start, uh, started here in Napanee let's see she was born in Belleville not too far from here but she spent most of her childhood right here right on this street I'm sure she played in this cornfield her house is two houses that way if you want to see it Avril Lavigne's childhood home her parents don't live here anymore but she still goes back to Avril uh, so she still comes back to Napanee to visit she still comes back to visit She's a hometown girl. She's a Canadian girl. Oh, Avril, she kind of rocks. She rocks. All right, let's go take a look at her home. Her childhood home, her old home. I gotta get settled down. Okay, I'm just happy to finally get here and see this. I've been waiting a long time. Right here, right behind this tree. This is Avril's childhood home. You're looking at it. Avril was born Avril Ramona Levine on September 27, 1984 in Belleville. She had a very musical family. She grew up with her father playing in a band for their local church in a basement studio in the house that she would spend hours singing as a kid. Now, it wasn't until she entered a radio competition at just 14 years old, she won the opportunity to sing on stage with superstar Shania Twain. And she took the stage with the country singer at her Ottawa concert, singing a duet version of What Made You Say That. Take a look. Um, I guess singer, she's a Now, Ava was known as a pretty good hockey player, too. And I bet, like most Canadian kids, she played ball hockey right on that driveway. Her career really began to take off after that performance, especially after she confided in Shania Twain that she wanted to be a famous singer. Now, here's a church right around the corner where her family attended. That's it. That's right. This is a church. This is Avril's church. And this is where she sang in the choir. This church is really cool. This is funky, this is modern, this is new. Here's a church right here. Ava Levine used to sing right inside here. Is it open? I don't think so. It's Sunday, it should be, but it's not. I can tell already that it's not because there's nobody in the parking lot. Let's see what we can see though. So little Avril, then teenage Avril, sang in this church. It's really close. It's like a five minute walk from her house, but a 30 second drive. Yeah, right in here. Absolutely no one is here. Can't get in, but you can't get out if you're in. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Avril used to sing here. This is where she got her start. Those are her parents, Judy and Jean-Claude. Now Jean-Claude bought his daughter a microphone, a drum kit, a keyboard, guitars, and he had his own love for music. He was a bass player, and he led the family to a church called Third Day Worship Center in Kingston, Ontario, and she sang there a lot as well. Her first song was called Can't Stop Thinking About You, about a teenage crush, which Avril herself describes as cheesy cute. Here she is performing it on a local radio show. Yes, it um, goes, can't stop thinking of you, boy, with everything you do. You take my breath away with all those silly things you say. <laughs> all right, well, there's a couple of famous places here in uh, Napanee having to do with Avril. Uh, before we get to the big one, we're, that's what she said. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go to her high school. Let's, let's go in and see her high school. Yeah, 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 high school. So at first, Avril will reportedly focus on only country music, but eventually changed her style. And she only attended this school, I believe, for three years. Uh-oh, coming up, yearbook photos. There they go. Yeah, since about three years. Left school after grade 11. 
Her first manager, Cliff Fabry, saw her singing country covers at a Chapters bookstore in Kingston, Ontario. Remember Chapters, fellow Canadians? Here's Avril singing the one. Here we are, I said it, and I did it. That's right, here we are, I said it, I did it. We're here, Napanee District Secondary School. This is where Avril went to high school, until she was 16. Now she left high school because she was a, originally, apparently she was gonna be a country singer. She was focusing on country music and gospel because she was singing in the choir. But then she turned to her own specific brand of punk pop, pop punk. She left for New York City, then Los Angeles, signed with Arista Records. It's the name of her first album, uh, Let Go. And that's got Complicated, Skater Boy, I'm With You. I love I'm With You, it's a great song. But she was here for a couple of years. I assume she got her degree, she was, you know, got it, uh, what do you call it when you get it afterwards? You don't get it when you're, you, not homeschooled, you're, you get your GED, I don't know, by mail, get a tutor. I don't know how she did it, but she did it, she got it. But right here, she attended this high school. This is this is not too far from her house as well. She probably had to have a school bus take her here. Ah, oh, little Avril on a school bus. Or her mom drove her, or her dad. I don't know the dynamics of that family. Pretty big high school. Pretty, pretty big. And it's got a solarium of some sort. I don't know what you call that. A nursery for plants. Greenhouse. Now, as I said before, in uh, Canada, we don't have really big, like, as I travel the States, there's always big football fields. We always have fields out back of high schools, but there's always tennis courts and soccer fields only. And occasionally there's football fields, but nothing like you see in uh, the United States. And usually, not too far from any high school, will be an arena. I bet you I'll pass an arena for ice hockey. Yeah, and as you can see, because it is a rural area, this, is just, this will be staff parking and student parking. Always student parking in rural areas. Nappy's a little more rural. So they're going to have bigger, because kids are going to drive. As soon as they're 16, they're going to drive. In Toronto and bigger cities. Now, you're taking the bus. They have really small parking lots. But yeah, Avil, right here. Okay, now I gotta find another place. I can't remember where it is. I'm doing this mostly from, um, no, 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 yeah. Some of it, no, the next two places are, I know, pretty sure. But I'd like to thank Stephen from Geek Out Cinema for helping me find uh, one of these locations. Thanks, Stephen. No problem. All right, now to the other place. God, why do I have to make it so complicated? This is just a quick little video about Avril Lavigne. Why'd you have to go home and get some girl? Look at him. He was a skater boy. He says, see you later, boy. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. So here in Avril's hometown, there's a home hardware in every town. Home hardware is like, before Home Depot, home hardware was the big thing in Canada. It still is. There's lots of them everywhere. But in small towns especially, home hardware is huge. And Avril appeared on Saturday Night Live Wearing a home hardware shirt from her hometown. This one. This home hardware right here on Jim Kimmett Boulevard. Not Jimmy Kimmel, Jim Kimmett Boulevard. And I think over 10,000 of those shirts sold afterwards. Now you can't even buy them anymore. I guess they couldn't keep up with the demand. Or maybe they just stopped. I don't know. Seems like a cash cow that you could keep on milking. Huh? Yeah, but yeah. Apple. Home hardware. This is the one right here. There's a sign right there. All right, somewhere else. Let's go. Now, even though she rose pretty quickly, at first it was kind of difficult for Avril to catch a break in the music industry because Britney, Christina, they were all the rage and Avril was not that. Nevertheless, she prevailed and was given a record deal in New York City worth $1.25 when she was only 16 years old. After spending time in New York City, she relocated to Los Angeles and released her debut album, Let Go, which rose on the charts almost immediately. Look at that. There's Avril right there. Right on. Pizza place. Right there. 
This is where she used to come and hang out after high school. Or before, I don't know, maybe she got pizza in the morning. But there's a lot of Avril memorabilia inside, look. Look, right there, signed. And back there too. Big problem though, we've got a big, big problem. They're closed on Sundays. Who closes on a Sunday? You're a pizza place. Sunday Super Bowl day. I mean, like for people that watch the Super Bowl. Like, why would you be closed on a Sunday? Your best business is going to be done on a Saturday and a Sunday. Oh, come on, small businesses. However, if I can find it, I was here about three years ago. Gosh, I don't even know where that footage would be, but I'm going to look, at, I'm going to look for it. I was inside. And I know I either took pictures or video. So if I can find that, I'm gonna insert it. That's what she said. And yeah, so it's, it's just Apple Levine's Pizza Place where she used to hang out. She doesn't own it, but she used to hang out here. God, it's closed on a Sunday. Oh, well. And here I am outside of La Pizzeria, which is Avril Levine's hangout in Napanee, Ontario. Let's go take a look inside. So the story is that was Avril's favorite pizzeria. And obviously, look, she's behind the counter in a lot of those pictures. So it looks like she's spent a lot of time there at La Pizzeria. And it smelled amazing in there. But I did already eat. So, and so she grew up here, went to school here, got discovered here. But that's where she ate. And if it's good enough for Avril, it's good enough for me on my way back. Well, no, later on, I'll eat here. One day I'll eat here. All right, this is Avril's famous pizza place. That's it. That's short, sweet. This is Avril Levine's hometown. Church, house, yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, it's closed. I did not expect that. I did not see that coming. That threw me for a loop. Avril, I love you. Did you know Avril married two Canadian rock singing, rock icons? Derek from Sum 41 and Chad Kroger from Nickelback. That's right, Nickelback is Canadian. You're welcome. You know what, actually Nickelback, they get a bad rap. Nothing wrong with Nickelback. How you remind, this is how you remind me, put that song on, put it on loud, blast it. You mean like, oh, yeah, it is a good song. So Nickelback get a bad rap. And I love Sum 41. They're from Ajax, not too well, far from where I live. Anyways, uh, now I don't think she's, she's divorced both. I don't think she's married now, she's single. She's single, Avril. So am I. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. You know how to find me. Give it a shot, what do you got to lose? I'm with you. You'll have a happy ending. Wait, that's a reference to a song, my happy ending, not I'll have a happy ending, she'll have a happy ending. Uh, so much for my happy ending of this video. Okay, that's it from the pizza place, from Napanee, Ontario, thank you. Peace. This is a lot of verbal little. Bye-bye, peace out. You're welcome.